You always get a good feeling when it's prophecy time. Gut check time. Um, as many of you know, those who don't despise prophecy that come across this channel, um, this chat, this uh, church, this ministry, um, operates in the realm of the prophetic. Well, I want to tell you that, bear with me, I'm having a moment getting going here. It was easy for the world and the government and the devil to shut down the churches. It's almost scary, actually, how, how easy it was that the church just fell in line, each and every church, and closed their doors gently. Uh, I don't think God was pleased with it. As a matter of fact, I know he wasn't pleased in it, um, especially with the turnout that it should have been the way it should have turned around. He wasn't pleased with that either. He wasn't pleased with the spiritual leaders. He wasn't pleased with the uh, other believers. Um, listen, brothers and sisters, if, if we can't find a church open, we could be the church. We can make a church. We can get together some way, shape, form, or fashion. Somebody needs to be the voice crying in the wilderness. There were churches open, and the people would not come because they have a mindset, if I can't hear my preacher, if I can't go to my church, if I can't be my own comfortable self, and I'm not going to do nothing. That's not pleasing to God. It's not pleasing that uh, pastors listen to the government. It's not. It's not pleasing that. Here's a result from the web. Whatever that was, I don't know. It's just the devil. But it's just not pleasing to God. The Bible says, "Without faith, it's impossible to please Him." We got to have faith in Him and trust Him. And believe him for his power, for his strength, for his leadership, uh, for his prophetic utterance. Uh, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. And I know that it's time that, that false prophets are on earth. I get that. But at the same time, if the Holy Ghost is in you and the Holy Ghost is in the church and the Holy Ghost is really moving in a certain church or a certain uh, preacher and, and likewise in another preacher, there's no reason that the two can't come together and have joint services. And there's no reason that God can't use one at one time and another at another time. There's no reason that the world can't turn to God and have a full out blown revival other than the fact that pride and fear and a lot of other problems that need to be let go in the church are there in the church. And for those that don't despise prophecy, I'm glad you're still on uh, you know, on the channel. I'm still glad you're listening to this uh, video. But I would like to say we can do better. It was almost embarrassing to watch how many churches closed the doors because such and such said so. Do you understand, brothers and sisters? Let me speak to the Republicans first. Do you understand the first state that shut down the churches and shut down um, their state was California? Do you understand that that state is Democratic? Do you understand that the next states that followed the Dem Democratic Party were Republican? Do you understand that you were following democracy and, and, and the Democratic Party? Okay, well, don't talk about the Democratic Party no more. You have no more reason to talk about them. Okay, because you followed them. You followed them in their footsteps. The first, the first, and don't talk about Hollywood no more neither. Because y'all followed Hollywood, 
They stayed at home. They said they stayed at home. You follow them. We have no reason to talk about Hollywood, California, or the Democrats anymore when we followed right behind them and did everything they asked us to do and they told us to do. We followed them. And God is saying something else and we're not listening. I don't mean to be no disrespect, but but this is gut check time. And I'm telling you, and I'm humbly, humbly saying that, that we can do better. We got to do better. If the church is going to survive, we have to be the backbone. We have to be strong. I hope this makes sense to somebody. If it reaches one person and they have a train of thought or a change of mind, praise God on this Passover morning it is now saturday 1 50 in the morning and many are asleep and i'm still up watching and waiting and doing the lord's work amen be blessed be strong have faith carry on if you don't know jesus as your personal lord and savior please come to know him and be a voice crying out for him be a voice outside the church crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make your crooked path straight. The Lord is soon to come. He's about to return on planet Earth. And will he find any faith? Is there going to be any faith left? Is there going to be any church doors open? Or were they standing in the pulpit saying, where is the promise of his coming? We shall see. Salute you, brothers and sisters, and all you do. Amen.